Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Word for Access Reports. So what I've got on the screen is an Access Database, which I'll just make full screen, and one table. And in there, I have some HR stuff, staff training records, so I've basically got departments, salary, date joined, review date, number of times late, sick, emails, and emails or my email. So I'll close that down, and I'm going to use the Mail Merge tool, which is on this external data tab, and then you've got Word Merge. Now I've already got a report that I'm going to use, so this is what I'm, this is a setting I need. Link your data to an existing document, so I'll click OK to that. Then it will ask me to find the document, which is in Documents on this PC, HR Report, so I'll open that. What this will now do is attach that table to the Word document and it's open at the bottom there, flashing away, and this is it. It's just a simple document, so I can explain how this works. So if I go and put the fields from that access table into this Word document in the relevant places. So if I go insert field, so this is title, space and then I just need to go through this so these are the fields from the table this is your review you joined on and then I need to do a space there and insert the date join field and you are part of the insert in the department field you have been late how many times has it been late so the late field and you've been sick in the sick field. Your salary is in pounds, salary, and your review date is the last one I'll bring in. So that's all the fields you can bring in. So you can have a document on the screen where you're just populating information. And if you want to see the results, you click on preview results and you just check that there's spaces where there should be one time, three times, your salary is blah, 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 your review date, is, everything looks okay there. So now, as I go through these records, it, the names changes, changes and the details change, as you can see there as I'm flicking through that. Now, if I click on finish and merge, I want to email these messages. So th this is going to send nine, I think there's nine, nine email messages sent email messages using the email field and then I'll just give it a title HR report and then you click OK and then each of these will be sent to Outlook if I go into Outlook and to the um, outbox of Outlook it should drop in there shortly okay it bounced straight through and went straight away and it's came it's come back into the inbox but here's all those reports for each person uh, Mrs. Saxton, Mr. Black, Mr. Brown, etc., etc. All of the people have got their HR report or whatever report you want to send them from an Access database. If I just come back out of this into Access. Now, if I go back into the Access table and add somebody else, I'll save this so it's joined together. So this is saved now with this information in it, so that I can send this all the time. So if this information changes, it will just pick it up. Now if I close it, and then add something else, so add record number 10. So this can be Mr. Graham. It's hard to think of names. I'll say this guy's in the training department. That's a drop down list, so I can just type it. I'll give him a salary of 34,000 and something. Um, date joined today and it was reviewed today and he's been sick no times and then the email I'll do the same email I'll just copy that one down from there copy that and then paste it there so he's got the same email now when I close this if I go back into Word and open that report I should have 10 records it will pull it through it will ask me as soon as I open this, do I want to do that? And then that will update straight away. There we go. Yes. Now, if I go onto the mailings tab, I should have 10 people. So there's Mr. Graham 
and all the information that I've just pulled through for him. And then again, I'll save this, close this document down. So back to access, you've got your access details here and I didn't actually do that right, so I'll change that. And then that would have brought that through as well, that mistake, but I didn't check it. So that's how you can create a report in Word, pulling data from Access. Now you can also create a report on this, obviously, and send that into Word as a RFT file. So I'll just do that one so you can see how that works. If I go create, I'll use the report wizard. Um, I'll take all the files across initially, then let's have a look. Um, what do I need? don't need here? So I'll just take a couple of these dates. Date join field I take off. Review date I'll leave on. Um, email I'll take off. Because this is going to be like going into a Word document which you're not going to necessarily email. I'll leave it like that. Let's go. Let's group by department. Take that across. Next. Don't need summary options for this example. I'll put it to landscape. Next. I'll name it RPT and then finish. So this is what it's what it looks like in access. So that's okay. One of one, it's all fit on one page, which is great. You can go into design and move, get rid of this gap. But up here, you've got the option to send this into Word. Let's have a look at that. Now it goes in as RFT, so it's not a Word doc. It's an RFT file, but similar. Now it's going into documents there, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Yeah, I'll click OK. And it gives you the option to save the steps. And then I've got to go and find that document in Word. So if I open Word and then file open in Word and then open what I'm after is documents and that's the RPT one, that one. See the symbol slightly different to what you'd normally have. That's a doc. This is rich text. If I open that, you'll get the same document dropping in Word. Obviously that's all of that information. But I could create a parameter query based on names, but you've got duplicate names. I could create a parameter query based on department and it would just bring off that department. But it's a mechanism to bring things into Word if you so wish, if you don't like the way they are in Access. You can save this document as a Word document and then manipulate it. But at the moment, this is just full of tabs. You can see the tab markers up there, which is not great. And that would cause some people a bit of stress if they're editing this document and not used to using tabs, which is quite an old feature nowadays. But it's just a tool that you've got. And it's whichever one you want to use. I think using the mail merge to bring things into a report and then emailing it is a better option than just using this RFT export feature, which is quite an old way of doing things. But that's all I want to talk about on this little video. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time.